everyone. Tonight, I am going to share to you a testimony of the power of prayer. Last March 2020, after the eruption of Taal, many of us working students lost our job because offices were closed and face-to-face -face classes were suspended. That time, my tuition was quite big and I still had almost 39,000 balance in my account. But because of the help of our supervisor, someone sponsored me and my co-workers some of our balances. From 39,000, my balance dropped to 29,000 pesos. The 29,000 balance was kneeled to God. And as I reminisce how God has provided me in my past years of my AUP journey, I believed that He will make a way for me. Then one day, as I was washing the dishes, someone just popped up to my mind. The person I met from Bicol during our canvassing ministry there. I remembered that I sent him a letter before to be sent to his friends for sponsorship. So I did a follow-up and told him my situation. In short, I sent him a letter again and he sent it to the Filip Filipino community in Japan. We prayed for it, and yes, God answered. My balance was paid. I received help from unknown people, but people known by God. I don't know them, and they don't know me either. But what amazes me is that they, with their willing hearts, help me. One thing I would like to emphasize here is that God hears your prayer. And he can use people, even unknown to you, to help you. People whose heart is big enough to understand your situation. Just keep on praying and patiently wait for his answer. As the book of Ellen G. White entitled Prayer says, Ask and believe. As you ask the Lord to help you, honor your Savior by believing that you do receive his blessing. All power, all wisdom are, the, are at our command. We only have to ask. And before I go down, I gladly invite you, my brothers and sisters, to join us in our online united prayer every 6.30 to 7 in the morning and 5.30 to 6 in the evening. May we all experience the power of prayer, not just for a moment in our lives, but for every day.